Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. I'm a full-time reseller, and today we're going to go through the second Goodwill Blue Box um, five-piece, I mean five-pound <laughs> mystery jewelry box. It is a repurposed jewelry lot. I have the ordering instructions up on the screen in case you see anything that you would like to purchase. Please follow these instructions. This will be, <coughs> excuse me, a number video. So please make sure you're including the number with your brief description and check that sold list in the comment section. Refresh the video after you watch it to make sure you're getting the most up-to-date list. I will ship your items if you do not advise me to hold them. Since it's a new week, I can hold your items for the for the week, you just have to pay for your items, and then at the end of the week, I can invoice you for shipping. I will be having a live jewelry auction this Wednesday, uh, March 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern, so you can shop that as well. And then my, um, I think I'll be doing a bonus video tomorrow on Tuesday, and then um, per sale Friday. So I got a lot going on this week, so um, let me know to hold your items. I will just charge you for the items themselves and hold off on shipping, and then at the end of the week, I will send you the shipping invoice and ship everything together so you only have to pay one shipping price. Okay, so this is the continuation of the South Hackensack, New Jersey. I bought two um lots so this is the second one <coughs> and just a reminder or if you don't even know what a goodwill blue box actually is you go to blue box goodwillbluebox.com under um bull um under mystery boxes this is the Jewelry Repurpose Box. They restock every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And this is the description. So basically it is um, recycled jewelry, junk jewelry, jewelry parts, pieces, broken jewelry, pins, jewelry crafting supplies, and jewelry for repair repurs repurposing. There is no guarantee of precious metal jewelry, um, blah, 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 blah. So this, I say this, in videos now because I used to get an overwhelming amount of comments telling me to email, call, complain, get my money back, get a refund, blah, blah, blah. These are mystery boxes, you guys. You never know what you're going to get. The, you guys have to read the descriptions. Same with the rescue boxes on Thread Up. They're not guaranteed to have, you know, 100% resellable things. You might have to do a little work to them or they might be completely recycled, junk, broken, okay? So just throwing that out there um, in these videos because I'm not gonna call or email and complain, you know, every time I get things that aren't that great. This is the, the fun of the mystery. It's a gamble, it's a risk, it's fun. Do I usually find good stuff no matter what? Yeah. Do I lose sometimes? Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to let you guys know, and we're going to go through it together, and we're going to see what happens. So let's dive in. Now, I did save the single earrings from the first box because, again, I had an overwhelming... I actually had to delete some, some comments because they were a little rude, telling me that why am I selling them as singles when they could be in the other lot? Well... They, they could not be in this lot. You know, I don't know. But I did save them, so we'll see. So let's move this over. And we're going to grab a handful at a time. And actually, let's do a little first peek. So let's kind of look around in here. See if we can... Oh, wow, I just got an overwhelming scent of perfume out of this bag. All right, well, that looks kind of interesting right there. Um... This piece looks kind of cool, whatever that is. Oh, look, it's an, oh, wow, it's it's like a whole little thing here. Maybe, I, I was thinking maybe it'd be sterling, but probably not. Um, I mean, that looks kind of nice, the gold tone links right there. 
Yeah, so that looks kind of cool. That might be sterling right here. So, okay. So I have found over the years that the New Jersey boxes are the better boxes. But unfortunately, you don't get to choose which warehouse your box comes from. So that's another part of the mystery and the gamble. All right, let's put all that back for now. Let's bring you guys in a little bit. Ooh, even that's pretty. So let's see if we can start with that. Oh yeah, it's just sitting here. Okay, cool. So I don't see a maker mark. But that is really pretty. Look at that. So it has, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, all of this smells heavily of perfume. Even this piece. Um, it smells like, like a baby powder, like, type of perfume. Um, you guys might have to clean all this jewelry yourself. I don't know if I'm going to be able to clean every single piece. Um, but it does smell like perfume. So this is really pretty, and it's got some abalone in there. There's no maker marks. Um, like I said, you'll have to clean it. You'll have to wipe it down if the jewelry, like if the perfume smells bothers you. But look, it's double-sided. So you can wear it the other way, and it will be all black. So there is an extender on this. <clears throat> My sinuses are already going to start going crazy. It's an eight inch drop without the extender, number one. And let's do that for, um, let's do that for, let's do it for $6. Do it for $6, number one, $6. That's actually really pretty. All right, starting off good. This little thing, it looks like a little piece of a bracelet that broke. So if we find more pieces, I can maybe lot that up for you. And let me get a little baggie for a craft lot. We'll make a craft lot and sell that also. Here's a little single earring, so we'll hold that and then check it with the other lot as well. I'm trying to get this unstuck. Give me one second. Okay. <clears throat> Jeez. All right, what happened here? There we go. All right, so this is like a little, almost like a little Mayan thing, but I don't think it is. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this is not, this, <laughs> this is not good for me. All right, so I don't really think this chain necessarily goes, but I'll roll with it. It is a um, ball chain, 11 and a half inches on the drop. I'm gonna definitely gonna have to blow my nose because this is, this the scent of this is really crazy. All right, so number two for $5. Five dollars, number two. Let me see if I can just clean this up a little bit here. <clears throat> okay, I had to blow my nose. Um, the workers are here next door, so if you hear loud noises or like the beeping of the truck backing up right now, that's what it is. If you missed my purse sale video on Friday, um, somebody. So we had. <laughs> Real quick, we had an um, abandoned house next door. We thought, you know, it'd be abandoned forever. We thought we'd have no neighbors. Well, um, that was wrong. And <clears throat> there's been a company here that uh, leveled the house next door and they um, apparently are going to be building another house, like building a house on the lot. And um, yeah, so they told us that they plan on having the house built and somebody in it by the summer. So there goes our no neighbor, beautiful, peaceful living situation. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's keep going. So just pray for me. Pray for pray for good neighbors. 
and um, that we don't have to have an issue like I had at the apartment. Um, this I'm just gonna throw into the craft lot. It's not really in the best condition, little plain chain. <clears throat> All right, this I'm also gonna put into the craft lot. It's got a lot of scratching on it and it's got a lot of discoloration on the chain. Um, oof, that doesn't even stretch anymore. So that'll go into craft. Here's a single earring we can hold on to. Oh, that's pretty. This is a little um, pendant. So that's cute. Okay, we can we can roll with that. That is, um, it's in good condition. It's a pendant. It's silver tone. It's got the moon, hearts, arrow, and a flower with a little um, yellow stone in there. So that's cute. We can we can roll with that one. That's number three, and let's do that for three dollars. Mm -hmm. Three on three. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, as you can tell, Dallas doesn't like the construction either. Oh, ooh, look at this earring we got stuck on here. Like, how does that even happen? This looks like it could be gold. All right, we'll take a little look at that. Actually, let's see if we can just take a look at it now. I actually don't see any markings, but it might be. So I'm gonna put that over here on this side and see if we can get a little testy poo a little later. <clears throat> All right, this has no maker marks, but this is actually really pretty. Let me see if I can get you more of an overhead view. Um, it looks like everything is here. And the, these these cabochons are like a white with like a gold in them. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like that. All right, let's get a measurement. It is on a silver tone Rolo chain with an extender. Without the extender, it's only about a seven and a quarter drop. Right now, the person has the extender all the way extended, so let's see. That would be eight and a quarter drop. <clears throat> really, really pretty. I'm digging that one. And let's do that one, number four, and we'll do that. I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask six, but we can do five. Let's just do five. Four, number four for five dollars. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. Unfortunately, this has a lot missing, but this would have been a really cool piece. I love the stars up here. It's not even marked. There's no maker on it, but that's going to go into crafting. Those would be cool to upcycle with. <clears throat> Jeez. My allergies are not digging this jewelry lot. Okay, this little lady is gonna go into crafting. Ooh, look at that, little snake earring, that's cool. I like that, we'll hang on to that. <clears throat> Here's another earring. This one is very bent and it's not, you know, it's not sitting in there right. So I'm just gonna put that one straight into craft. Here's a little chain with a double clasp. I'll put that into craft. We have an earring right here. We'll hang on to that. That earring, ooh, that's pretty. I don't think it's sterling, but that might be a real stone in there. So we'll hang on to that. Oh, here's the um, other, the other snaky poo. So here's one, and here is the other. 
Definitely not sterling, but still super cool. Love these little guys. <clears throat> so they dangle about one and a half inches. And we will do that for number five. And we will do those for $4. Super cool little dudes. See, I like bug and snake jewelry, but I do not like bug and snakes in real life. So $5, I mean, number five, $4. <clears throat> All right, this is gonna go into, oh wait, what does that say? <gasps> what does that say? 14K Italy? Mm, that clasp does not appear to be 14K, but it could have been added and switched on because the, the chain is not magnetic. I mean, I don't know why somebody would want to change out a 14K chain for not a 14K chain. But, see, look, and I was just about to put that into craft. Ha! All right, so let's test it. The only problem would be if this is actually 14K, I do not have any 14K clasps that I would be able to change the class back to so it would have to stay as whatever it is all right i think that's a good enough scratch where's my 14k here it is no it's not i mean it ate right through it um what i can do is i mean it does look like that that would that would actually be 14k it does look like it could be gold. It's just weird that the chain did not test, but let's try the actual little, because even the scratch kind of looks like gold. Let's try that little, that little bit right there. Nope. So it's a faker. It is 100% faker. Um, let's just try the 10K just for S and Gs. Let's try 10K. See, that's weird because it is holding. I gotta get some paper towels. So while we look into that, let me get some stuff to wipe this with. So that's interesting because it's holding the 10K line. <sighs> but it says 14K. How strange is that? Okay. I might have to bring that to a jeweler because I'm not really sure what to make of that. Um, let's try the chain at 10K as well. Very strange. But this tassel was d definitely added on. So I'm going to take the tassel off. And I'm just going to actually throw it out because it's really not in good condition. And it seems to be holding at the 10K too. But this clasp, I don't know, this is very weird. Yeah, the clasp I don't think is anything. I mean, that's not even leaving a scratch. No. This is definitely very weird. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts on what could possibly be going on here. Um, but I think I'll have to take this to a jeweler. 
um, which stinks because my jeweler is almost an hour and 20 minutes away back where my apartment was. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clasp off. Yeah, I can't even get that off really right now. All right, well, we'll, we'll have to, I'll have to take this in because to me it does look like gold, especially this piece. That really looks like gold to me, but it's not testing as 14K. So it'll have to go to a jeweler. Let me know what you guys think though. But that's pretty cool. I mean, I definitely think that it is at least 10K. It's just weird that my 14K wouldn't hold the line. Strange. Okay, moving along, we have a um this is gonna go in craft. Looks a little a little dirty. That oh that's pretty, but the silver tone is literally flaking off. See it? And on the bale. So we're gonna put that into craft. That's kind of cool. We'll hang on to that for a mate. Oof, this is definitely gonna be a no. This is all kinds of worn that's going into craft. This is kind of cool. That's just a little hematite stretchy, but I'll put that into craft. Oh, this is a ring. Okay, I thought it might have been a pendant. A little mother of pearl with some lacquer over it. It has a lot of wear. A lot, a lot, a lot. <clears throat> it's a size seven and it's gonna go into the craft lot. Eek, eek a minka. That's a lot of wear as well. Craft lot. Um, this looks like it's broken. So that's gonna go just into the garbage. What is this? Oh, it's a double bracelet. Double bracelet? I don't know. Or is it stuck? No, it actually has a jump ring holding the two. No, they're not. Are they holding the two together? I don't know, but we'll sell it as two. It is eight inches, eight inch length, double gold tone bracelet, number six, and we'll do that for four dollars. Here's an earring, we'll hang on to that. That's kind of disgusting, so we're just going to throw that out. All right, let's grab some more. All right. Like, how does this happen? That's really pretty though. So I'm gonna put that on this side where the nicer earrings are going. All right, this is gonna to have to be one of those lots that I give you so you can just unhook it when you get it. So here's the matching earring to that. There's a little wear up there. And then here's the necklace, which is actually pretty. It's like a plastic. It's actually really pretty. Without the extender, it's an eight inch drop. So we'll do that. Let's see if we can put in there in something else. Um, this is kind of cute on a little silver tone ring with some heart cutouts. Size, I would say seven and a half since it is a wide band. That'll go in there. And I'll put this in there. You got a nice little twisted gold and gunmetal necklace coming in at a 10 inch drop. So you'll get all of that. 
number seven for five dollars. Okay. This has a lot of missing stones, so we will put that into craft. Here's a spinner ring. Ooh, it says stuff on the inside. Ooh, -wee, let's see what it says. Ooh, it's upside down. Mexico 925. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a bigger spinner ring because look, when it's on, you like that. Pretty cool. All right, so let's test it. Mm, testing, one, two, three. Oh yeah, she's a sterling. She's a sterling, it turned blue. All right. Now, it's a definitely a bigger ring. Let's see what size. 12, I would say 12 and a quarter because it is a wider band. So this is gonna be a great men's ring or thumb ring. Really, really cool. Love it. It's number eight. And we will do that one for $30. It's a lot of silver there. 12, 12 to 12 and a quarter, sir, sterling silver spinner ring, number eight for $30. All right, what's, holy moly, look at this ball chain. Wowzers. What the heck, this is a, oh yeah, okay. So, um, that's gonna just go in the craft lot. Craft lot. Here's a little, oh, nope, that has a lot of, wear on it, so that's gonna be crafting. Here's a mate right here. These look good. So this, look at that, look how pretty that is. Nice and good conditioned. Come on. This is giving me... All right, so we got those earrings. Number nine, love potion number nine. That'll be num uh, $3, number nine. Oh, we have two of these rings, look at that. Okay, I don't see any markings. Um, it definitely has a little bit of wear. It's green enamel and gold tone. I would say size six and a half. Let's see what this one is. And a seven. All right, so we'll do, actually, this might be a six and a half. Let me see. This finger, yeah. I would say a six and a half because it's all the way up here. So six and a half on this one is number 10. And we'll do it for two dollars. Six and a half, number ten. Two dollars. This one, yeah, this one I would say is about a six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Number eleven for two dollars. Six and a quarter. Oh, this is another pretty earring. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Oh, this is an earring. <laughs> oh, yep, it broke. So that's going into craft. Same with this one. That's the broken one that we had already, so garbage. Um, this one, it's okay. We'll see if we get the mate to it. Ooh, look at this. This says Kronborg. 
I'm guessing these are all German places. Don't know. Marmorken, Kirken. <laughs> You can't really see what that says. You know, I don't know. I'm not an expert. But let's maybe type this into good old eBay and see what comes up. I'm going to have to look at this under the loop again. K-I-B-S, K-I-B-S, give me one second, guys, G-A-A-R-D, G-A-A-R-D, bracelet, let's just start with that, nothing, <laughs> what else did it say on that? Ben Benhaven Jeez Nothing. All right, let me um type it into Google. That might work better. It might just be a like a tourist piece. <clears throat> oh, here it is. Denmark. Okay. All right. Yep. Souvenir bracelet. Yep. So this one on Etsy is almost $31. Okay. So we can just roll with that one. That's fine. So um, I'm not going to charge you guys that, of course. Um, it has the little sliding little hook closure thing right here. Let's make sure it works. You might need to, there we go. All right, so all of the panels are here. So let's check it. It is an eight inch length, eight inch length on the Denmark enamel bracelet. Number 12. And we will do that for... <clears throat> $18. $18, number 12 on the Denmark enamel panel bracelet, size 8. All right, here's this other earring. These are kind of funky, right? So, um, I mean, they're, they're in good shape. Number 13, and we'll do those for $4. All right, time for another handful. Okay, come on. Okay, got it. We'll look at this little dude first because he popped out. All right, he'll go and craft. Oh, here's this other earring. I don't really think these are in great shape though. I mean, there's a lot of discoloration on the hook. I wouldn't really want somebody putting these in their ears. So I'll just put them in craft and if you wanna clean them up and wear them, then you gotta buy the craft lot. <laughs> All right, this is definitely super worn. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. So we're gonna craft that. All right, this has got a couple things on it. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but that's gonna go into crafting. It's got a lot of wear here. It's another, this looks like it's more of a rosary. Yeah, 
Oh, this is actually really pretty. This is like, um, these are acrylic. Yeah, but they're really pretty, like light blue, like sky cloudy blue. Well, let me get this gross hair off of here. Yuck. Ewies. Um, there's another one. Hold on. Okay. So this one's actually pretty. There is wear to the back, though. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. With the little inlay, mother of pearl inlay. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if anything will come up on a Google search, but this seems like a little nicer than your normal rosary, right? Try again saying. I don't know, it keeps giving me an error. So that's fine. Um, if anybody wants the, oh wait, I think I see, is there something else? There's somebody, let me just make sure that's next door. I don't know. People keep pulling over to like take pictures of next door as if it's like they've never seen construction before. Um, so this one will be included in it, this little one. Okay, so you got that one. Is there any more that I can see? Mm, not right now. So we'll just do the two. Number 14. And we'll do them both for $6. See, this one definitely isn't as good as the first one. But we're not done yet, so you never know. All right, we got this. This is kind of pretty. Wait, what happened here? Okay, that's just going to go on craft. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, that too, craft. Here is an actual set of earrings. However, there's a lot of gold tone lost right here, so those will be craft. Yeah, all this is very inexpensive stuff. Um, I mean, this is cute. It's got the little two, two little leaves. It's got a little bit of wear. It's 10 inches on the drop. Number 15, and we'll just do that for $2. $2, number 15. It's actually pretty with two little leaves. All right, that has a lot of wear, and that's broken, so that's craft. Um, that was definitely made. They added that. It doesn't even match. But it's cool. I don't know. That'll go into craft. <clears throat> this is pretty. So this is a gunmetal necklace. It's probably going to need a wipe down. Oh, wait. No. Are we missing something on this one? That's going to go into craft. That has a lot of wear. Can't. It's craft. Yikes. This is uh, not really turning out to be good so far. This is a hematite necklace. This looks nice. Here we go. Good shape, screw barrel clasp, eight inch drop. That one's nice. Number 16, and we'll do that for five. Five dollars. Hmm. 
All right, maybe some of these are gold. Ooh. A little teeny tiny Figaro chain, but there is that little link. Does it say something on it? Oh, it doesn't look like it says anything. Oh, damn. Let's check the other side. I definitely don't see anything written on either side. But it's not magnetic. This, I think, is just gold tone, this. So let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good scratch because this is, like, super dainty. But I'm trying to go like this so we get more surface area. I mean, that kind of looks like a gold scratch to me. We'll try, we'll try the 10K and the 14K. So 10K. Fourteen K. Ooh, I think it's 14K, you guys. That did not disappear. Ooh la la. Yeah, the pendant is just gold tone. I'm wondering why it doesn't say anything on the clasp, though. But it definitely looks like gold to me. Very interesting. Couple, a lot of interesting pieces in this one. Yeah, there's literally nothing on the clasp. But this is definitely 14K. Look at that. It's holding strong. Strong. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely 14K. It's not. Let's try it with the 18K. Because 18K is what we use to test it for sterling. But we can test this for 18K. See, just by the scratch alone, I can tell it's gold. So let's try 18K. Uh, mm. I mean... I mean, that's holding too. <laughs> I don't have a 24K acid or platinum. I don't have those. But this might be 18 carat. It's holding strong. Oh, man. I wish, I, I wish it had a mark. Um... I'll have to do some research on this. Um, I... I would feel comfortable selling it as 18K because that, I mean, that's holding strong right there. Try to get it over into that bigger scratch area. Because, like, that has not moved. None of these has, have moved. I thought maybe it would eat away at the at the 18K mark, but no, it's it's holding. It is holding. It's just so weird how it's not marked. Usually it's on that link. But I just checked it under the loop again. Hmm. All right, so let me uh, I'll, let me do some pricing research and I will put a price on the screen for you guys because um, I am definitely comfortable selling that as 18K. You definitely can see that the mark has not gone anywhere i know it's hard to see with my there with the reflection of my bar light um but i mean <sighs> wow it is a let me measure 20 that's a weird length 21 and a half 21 and a half total length 
And I will do some research and I will have a price on the screen for you guys, but it is a teeny little Figaro chain. And I'm gonna say confidently it's 18 karat gold because that's still holding. So we got ourselves a winner, winner, chicken dinner faux show. Um, Cause usually it would just, the scratch would just disappear in like a second, not even in like a millisecond if that wasn't gold. And it would turn blue if it was sterling. <clears throat> okay, so um, I take that back <laughs> on this box. <laughs> We're gonna put that in craft. So that was pretty neat. This is just acrylic. It looks like it would be snowflake obsidian, but it is just acrylic. Um, let me see. Actually, it might be stone because it's cold. It might be a snowflake obsidian bar. I mean, um, ball chain, 12 inch drop. Um, number 17. And we'll do that one for $4. We still have a, a majority of the bag to go, so that's pretty cool. All right. All right. And see, like, somebody would have saw the pendant and just sold it as costume. Look at this. Somebody... Did somebody poke a hole in that? I think somebody might have used this as a pendant. I don't think it was supposed to be a pendant. But it doesn't even match the chain. Like, at least match it. <laughs> Let's see if this is sterling. I don't think so, but we can just check. No. But that's cool because that's very Art Nouveau. Um, Art Nouveau. Um, revival. Jeez Louise. So I'll sell it as is, but you're just going to maybe want that piece because that's really cool. I would put it on a different chain, obviously. Obviously. Number 18 and I'll just do five. I'd rather have somebody own it than me price it too high and it doesn't sell. $5, number 18. And this is really cool, but it's got a lot of discoloration. So that's going into craft. I actually think it used to be gold, because look. <laughs> All right, let's get some of this off my desk, because that's kind of gross. All right. <laughs> Kiss, kiss. See, you gotta look at the chains because see how it doesn't match? So you wanna look at that. I don't see any markings though. So it's gonna go into the craft lot because it's missing. They used an earring. Is this an earring? They used an earring to, <laughs> okay, it's just gonna go into craft. Oh, geez, Louise. These are actually glass, or they could be stone. Let's turn on Pressy. Let's take these off of here. Because these could be little garnets. Hanging. Um, and let's get Presidium out. There's that um, pendant. That'll go into craft. Because that looks like it could be like a quartz and, and garnet or something. Not sterling, though. But it does look like they added, like it looks like it came from a different earring and they added this hook, right? Hmm. <laughs> Is this like a... Um, Frankenstein pile? Yeah, because the actual chain is not magnetic. So somebody might have added these hooks on. Yeah, 
yeah, cherry quartz maybe. But these dark red ones might just be, I mean, they might be garnet. It doesn't, not really, it's not really getting into, oh my gosh, you guys can't even see it. Sorry, I'm looking over here, not through my screen. I'm, I, my face is like over here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably yelling at me in the comments. Don't yell at me in the comments. So it looks like we got maybe some jade and quartz. But definitely, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's going up into the garnet line. So it is what it is. It, the, th this chain could be sterling. I'm not gonna attempt to test that. Number 19. And we'll just do them for $5. You guys can have a nice pair of earrings for five bucks. Okay. Wow, talk about flashy. No maker marks. These are Rivoli. Look at that. Pretty cool. Seems like it's in good shape. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there is an extender. Nine inches without the extender. Are these glass? Yeah. Um, so we'll do this for $6. Number 20. Craft. 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 Missing a piece. Craft. Craft. I don't like that. Craft. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought this was metal. It's plastic. It's got a lot of wear on the clasp and this jump ring, and it's just plastic craft. Ooh, look, another pretty earring. We'll hold on to that. Ooh, here's this earring. So we have white acrylic, little mod earrings. Number 21. We'll do those for $4, number 21. That's a cool earring. We'll hang on to that. Oh, here's that necklace. I thought it was going to be an earring, but it's a necklace. Hold on to that. That's cool. Look at that. It's like a snake print. Like a golden black. That's really pretty. This is like a little S chain kind of. I don't see any markings. I don't necessarily think this chain matches, but we're gonna roll with it. It's a seven and a half inch drop. You're probably gonna wanna change out the chain. Um, number 22, and we'll do $5. But that, that um, pendant is really cool. I like it. I like it, and is it? No, it's not gold. It is, it does have a little bit of, teeny bit of wear on the back. <clears throat> Craft. All right, this looks very well made. Oh yes, it's marked. I cannot see that. Mm -hmm. 
Beck? The heck is Beck? I've never heard of that. Let's ask eBay. Beck necklace. Oh, it's Anna Beck. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay. Dallas is dreaming. You'll probably hear him in a second. So I want to see her signature. Mm, I don't... That doesn't look like mine. No, that doesn't look like... That doesn't look like mine. Maybe it's like a newer piece? Because it definitely looks more modern. Uh, I don't know what to do. Because it's just marked Beck. Could be Vermeer. Well, let's see. No. Um, well, we're just gonna give you a good deal. If it is Anna Beck, it's in pretty good shape. It definitely needs to be cleaned. And it's definitely small. Um, it's it's going to be a 16 inch. 16 incher. Possibly Anna Beck. Number 23. And let me find a bigger bag. We will do, um, we'll do 25 on it. Okay, 25, number 23, possible Anna Beck. 16 inches. Okay, that's going to go into craft. Same with this. Um, I mean, it's really, really yucky. That has a lot, a lot of wear craft. All right, we got probably maybe another two handfuls, maybe one handful left. Okay, these are gonna go into craft. Actually, you know what? I can, I can lot these together. I think I see another one, yep. Oh, I see another one. Because these all have glass stones on them. Here's another one. So even if you don't wear them as is, you can definitely take the purple glass beads off. So you got four with hearts and one with a square, and they all have good stretch. So that's five stretchies with five glass beads. Number 24. And we'll do them all for six bucks. Six dollars, number 24. And if I find any more, I will include them. Okay, here's another religious piece. This is an adjustable bracelet. And I thought I saw another rosary. Yes, right here. So we'll make another little um, religious lot. So there's this one. This one might be real stone. I would say so. So there's that one, and do I see any more? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, so let's roll with those two, number 25, and we'll do them both for $6.
that's probably either a quartz or amethyst for sure. Oh, and it's marked W. Hmm. There you go. Number 25, six bucks. This is bent. Whoa, mama. Look at that earring. Both in craft. We have a brand new stretch. Do we have anything else we can maybe lot this with? Mm, not really. So we're just going to put some stuff together for crafting. And then you got to buy the whole craft lot. All right, so that's all going into the craft lot, and we'll close up this craft lot. So this is a um, large freezer bag, freezer, freezer Ziploc bag. It's a big one, and it's about, it's almost halfway full. Craft lot number one, $10, okay? So just ask for craft lot number one. $10. Oh, let me get another bag and then we'll start another one. I'm trying to get this out, but it's going to go into craft anyway because it's missing stones. Alright, so that's going into the new craft lot. It's missing stones, but it could be an easy fix for somebody. Lizzie. It's kind of weird how it goes through the name like that. But, okay. That's going to go into craft. We got a big ol' um, owl. Look how big. Whole hand. Necklace. It is very long. It does have an extender. Without it, it's an 18 inch drop. So for the owl with black eyes, number 26. And we'll do that for five. Number 26, five dollars. There's a little, oh, I found the other earring to that already. So that's cute. Maybe we can lot it with something. I'm gonna put it to the side and we'll make a little lot. So it maybe be a little more worth it. I have two more of these little enamel rings. Gold tone. This one's a darker blue. This one is a size 7. Number 27. $2. Then we got this one, which is like a, a teal green. Teal light green, light blue green. This I would say is a six, I would say it's a six and a half to so make sure it's gonna be comfortable. Number 28, and we're gonna do that one for two as well. This is going into craft. The beads are all peeling. This is actually really pretty, but it is very, 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 very worn all over. I mean, the chain is really gross, so that's going to be crafting. The beads on it, though, are in good shape. That's pretty. We'll hold on to that. 
We got a Monet earring. We'll hold on to that. We got a little tiger or cheetah ring. So it looks like all the stones are there. However, there is a little bit of wear around the ears. It is adjustable, so we're just going to put that into craft. I, this is not in good shape either. It goes from silver to gold to silver, so that'll be craft. Uh, oh, wait, we have this earring. So these are lever backs. Oh, I didn't see that. We're missing a stone. So these will go into craft. Um, unfortunately, this has to go into craft. It is very worn. Craft. This, though, we might have the mate, maybe? Um, it might be missing something. I don't have the mate yet, but we'll hold on to that. All right, let's dump the rest of this out. Okay, nothing left in the bag. Ooh, okay, let's check out what this was. We saw this when we first opened, I mean, when we first laid the bag down on the table, right? Oh, here's that earring that we just found before, so we'll check that out in a second. All right, what is happening? <laughs> There's more earrings stuck to this. All right, this I thought would have been like sterling, but then when I saw all the rest of these, not so much. They're not um, magnetic, but they, I mean, look at all the wear on it. Eek. Eek, eek, eek. And there's no... Um, there's no uh, clasp. It's very worn. So we're going to have to put that into craft um, just for S&Gs. Oops. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be sterling. The scratch is red. It's the copper. Yeah. All right. Just, you know, just, just check in. Doesn't hurt to check. So all that's going into the craft lot. All right, let's look at these earrings. All right, so here's the one mate right here. So maybe they didn't have an earring, I mean a, a stone on the edge right there because the other one is like that too. Hmm. They're definitely not gold. But they are, wait, they do say something on the back. 925. So I wonder if they are vermeil. This one is very um, bent. So you might have to fiddle with this one a little bit. Okay, you might have to work on that one a little bit, but let's see. Mm, I don't know about that. No. So these are um, fake. These are fakers. They're not 925, but they're still pretty. So we have this one, this little set right here, right? pretty um, like I said you might have to work on that one wire it's a little bent number 29 and we'll do that for five bucks those are pretty nice pink stones um, let's see if we had any other mates that when we pulled these out mm. 
green. I don't think we had a green. No, we didn't have green yet. And we didn't have one that looked like this yet. Why is there two different color stones? That's kind of weird. All right. We have another little enamel ring. This one has, eh, I mean, it's pretty good. It's kind of like an orangey color, dark orange, peach, dark orangey peach. I would say it's a six and a half. Number 30. And we're going to do $2. All of these little wavy rings are two bucks. Okay. That one looks like it, something broke off the bottom of it. So that's going to be a no. I, this is not in good shape either. Crafting. <laughs> Craft. Ooh, okay. So this is a slave bracelet so what it does is it goes on your wrist and then this part goes on your middle finger like so i have it a little bit twisted up but like that so that's pretty cool um the bracelet part can go from eight inches to 10 inches. So this might be, could this be? No, that's not long enough to go on your foot. So eight, like eight to nine and a half or 10 inches. And then the ring part is a size nine and a quarter. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. A little bit, teeny little bit of wear over here, but otherwise good. So, um, and then you can clip the clasp anywhere, really. So number 31, and we'll just do it for five. All right, that's gonna go into craft. This is, um, it's not wood. I guess it's like an acrylic with maybe some bone. Not bone, horn. With some horn. Eight and a half inches on the drop. And that will be number 32, and we'll do that for $4. That's a cool brooch. Mm, it has to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's pretty neat. Number 33. And that one will be $5. It's not marked, it's pretty good condition. That's going to go into crafting as well. Ooh, is this another sterling? Ooh, what does that say? It says something in there. 925 IBB. That is a um, international bullion brokers or something like that. It is a sterling jewelry company. This definitely needs a good polish. But let's check it. Check it, check it, just to double check it. Oh yeah, that's a sterling. Wow, that is bright blue. It's like, I am faux show sterling. All right, let's get a little measure -y. This one's a little bit bigger too. This is a 10 and a quarter. It definitely needs a little cleanup and polish job. It is going to be number 34. And we will do that for $25. All right. Um, this is a really pretty earring, but we don't have the mate. 
Oh, but we have this one. Boom. These are nice. Okay. And you know what? We're going to put those with it from earlier. This is like a, um, like a, some type of shell, definitely. And then like a little gold tone and then the clear rhinestone. So that's pretty. We will do both for $5. All right, we do have this one. Let me just make sure that said Monet. Oh no, they're Napier. All right, I was wrong, they're Napier. Let's hopefully I can move this back without it. Yeah. All right, we're good. Yeah, Napier. I'll put new backs on them. So you got... Yeah, and one says R and one says L for left and right. How cool is that? So they're actually supposed to go this way. Cool. So you got a pair of Napier earrings. I will add new backs to them. And we'll do those for six. Those are actually really nice. Six thirty-six. All right. Um, and we don't have any of these. Oh, here's these. I'm just gonna put those in craft. And then we got this. All right. Let me um, let me clean this off really fast. Um, okay, I don't have anything to clean it with, so we're just going to leave it. All right, so we had these with no mates. And then we have all of these. None of these are marked. This one we were going to check. because that looks like gold to me let's check with 14k nope that was... there's nobody here there's nobody here it's probably next door let's do 10k Now it's disappearing. Nope. Okay. All right. And then we had this one with the little lips. Oops. All right, and then we had this one. And then I don't think we had any from last time that match. So everyone that thought the mates would be in this bag, you're wrong. <laughs> um, here, let's go like this. Because there ain't nothing that's a mate. Okay. If you see something, let me know, because I don't think I remember any of these having a mate. So there you go. They are buy two for a dollar, two for a dollar, and that is it. So, I mean, we had the two, the two sterling silver rings. We, um, I'm going to give you a price on the 18 karat gold necklace, but I do definitely think that it is 18 karat gold because it, I mean, that line stood forever so yeah I mean 
The rest of the box was kind of blah, but I definitely will take an 18 karat gold necklace any day. So I consider that a win in itself. Um, here are the ordering instructions again. Um, please let me know if you would like me to hold. Um, if you don't let me know to hold, I will charge you shipping and ship my next shipping day. I can actually probably ship tomorrow, which is Tuesday, because um, I'm going out to get my nails done. Um, so check the sold list, refresh the video after you watch, and thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next one.